uh, people who live in McAllen uh, are using the McAllen's 311 app to submit illegal dumping cleanup requests. But we heard from some users who think their requests may be going ignored. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson explains how the system works. The status on the bulk of these requests say in progress, meaning they're not complete yet. Some of the requests are two months old. So far this year, 51 illegal dump cleanup requests were made through the app. Nahida Hernandez made her request in late March. She got a visit from code enforcement in early April. The visit is the last she heard from the city of McAllen. That day she said that she was going to, you know, she wants to have that taken care of already, but it's already going to be May. Well, it's already May, I'm sorry. And uh, we still see that, and I don't know what's going on. Hernandez made her cleanup request to the McAllen 311 app over a month ago, and we just want to walk you through some of the things that we found just a few feet behind her home. Here, some used tires. We counted five in total. An old car bumper, and if you walk this way, we'll show you some other things. A tabletop room fan, car seat, two mattresses, in addition to some brush, all of this just a few feet away from where her children play. We've seen spiders, rats, um, snakes, oh, not only us, uh, other neighbors around here also. People who live in this neighborhood are wondering if their calls are being ignored or if the city has a backlog. The McAllen Interim Health Director says each case needs an investigation before cleanup can begin. We assess the area, we have options to put up a camera, we have a camera program where we can assess people that come in illegally dump and that's one way of trying to get a citation out to them for illegally dumping. Precinct 4 constables arrested someone last week from their camera program. They say violators could face serious penalties. From dumping uh, some old furniture that you possibly don't need, uh, you can possibly get arrested uh, and receive a citation uh, up to $500. Hernandez may have an entirely new issue on her hands. The city must first determine if this is their problem or another agency's. I do notice that it's closer to uh, the boundary that uh, can be the county, so we have to uh, rely on the maps to see who it belongs, which jurisdiction belongs to. If it belongs to us, we'll take care of it. I would like for this to be taken care of ASAP, you know, so that there won't be um, no more spider snakes, anything in my house. Health Director Salazar says they'll know by tomorrow if the dump is on the city's property. Nahida may have to file a new complaint, this time with the county. City officials say sensitive identification information, including social security numbers and dates of birth, often lead to arrest. We can check back on the dump near Nahida's home and let you know what happens. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 1030.